So someone just uh, submitted a question asking how to set up their models for 3D printing uh, using the Preform software. Uh, a lot of my videos focus on the Rayware, just sim uh, Rayware software put out by SprintRay because that's the uh, printers I usually use. Um, but I do also have the Form 2, and so I'm going to make a video with their software. Now, in this instance, I'm using my laptop at home, and it's not connected right now, so I'm just pretending I have a virtual with a Form 3 printer. Uh, and so I'll just show you the, the overall workflow. So let's go ahead and when we open up the software, the first thing it's going to ask you is which printer, which resin you're using, uh, how you know, how thick your layers should be. Uh, pick whatever resin you're using. I'm just going to leave it on black simply because that's the default. Um, and the layer thickness is 100 uh, microns. We don't need to print any more precise for liner models. Uh, if you're worried about little striations in your liner trays, um, that it's actually not a bad thing that provides traction on traction in the trays that will grip the teeth. So do not worry about that. There's no need for uh, uh, more smoothness out of our aligner models. So I'm going to click apply here and then it's going to bring up this little virtual print bed. So now once I have my aligner models, for instance these right here, I have a whole set of them. I'm just going to bring in five of them. Uh, I just like to go ahead and select, you know, select which ones I want or six I guess. Click and drag and drop. When I let go of the mouse, it'll start loading the files onto the printer. You can use the file menu to import models and whatnot. I just don't ever do that. I just drag and drop, um, and it's what my assistants do in the office and whatnot. It's just uh, what we do. So anyway, there is no right or wrong way there. I just feel that the drag and drop is a little bit faster and easier. So now it has done loading. Um, it is done loading. So it's doing some calculations here, but honestly, I kind of ignore most of that, which means this whole panel over here on the right, which is a new, relatively new for this software, is somewhat uh, unimportant to me other than knowing the volume of resin. Beyond that, I don't really care too much about this because it's going to say it's not printable and whatnot. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move this up and I'm going to sort of view these where I can see them from the base from the bases, these platforms. Now this first, you know, this, this approach that I'm showing you re requires that you have a platform in the bottom. That or the heels need to be completely, perfectly plain cut. So, uh, and all of my models have these platforms and if you're not exporting your models from your liner software from Blue Sky Plan with platforms, well then uh, you need to start. Uh, I think it's extremely important. Otherwise you're going to be printing with supports or bringing in platforms. I do have files um, online that you can download for free that are basically the same platform and that works. I have other videos that show how to drag and drop those in and then orient the models. It's just a lot more work. But since we had the platforms built into the uh, Blue Sky Plan software, it just makes sense. You add it one time and then every subsequent model has this perfectly placed platform. So now I'm just going to come over here. This little thing is the orientation menu and I need to click on um, uh, select base. Okay, so now when I hover over a model, you'll see an arrow that points perpendicular to whatever it's touching. Okay, I'm going to want, I want it to be perpendicular to the base. And click there, click here, click here, Click here, click here, click here. Now all models are upright the way I want them to print, okay? Now I can click done because I'm done doing that and now I can move these around. So I can just kind of push that up into the corner, push that up into the side right behind it, you know, get fairly close and fit a lot of models on here this way, okay? And that's it. So at this point, I'm quite literally done. I can close this menu out. and don't need to see that anymore. One thing I do, um, I, I'm not sure if there's a, a method to do this that I'm not familiar with. Uh, in the Rayware software, if I look underneath, I automatically see the first layer that's going to be printed. And what I mean by that is if you click over this slide bar, I can uh, toggle it up and forth, up, uh, up and down. I just want to see the first layer. I want to see these big rectangles. That means that the first layer that's printed of each of these models is big, broad, and attached to the platform. If it's only one little point or something, that means it's not going to print because it's going to try to adhere to the platform on one little area, one corner, and the rest is going to be hanging off. It's going to fail. So I do think it's important that after you've lined up all your prints to check, because just in case you didn't quite snap it to the base like we did earlier to orient them, you can now, you'll know, and you can go make a, make a quick fix. But anyway, let's bring this back down so you see the whole thing. 
we are now ready to print. So you'd press the print button, make sure your printer's selected or whatnot, and go ahead and hit print. Anyway, this is a virtual printer, so I can't really show it, but that is uh, the approach. It's very simple. Just drag and drop them in, select the base, line them all up, and hit print. Okay, hopefully that video helps.